stay out of the water. Beach officials say waters off South Padre Island have become dangerous. Yeah, Channel 5 Sierra Pissarro was there as rescuers spent over half an hour to bring a surfer to shore. She joins us live at the island with more. Sierra? It's obvious how violent the water can be as you watch it crash onto the rocks here. Over 100 surfers flocked to the beach today for what looked like perfect waves and a group of them are still out here tonight. I counted about 25 of them at least out in the water right now. One of them earlier this afternoon found out what this water is capable of. The flag stands tall and stands for heavy surf. The height of the waves ranges from four to six feet. Naturally, hundreds of surfers flocked here to take advantage. Um, it was predicted to be some of the best surf of the in years, so that attracted a lot of people from all over Texas here. That doesn't happen, you know, very often, so it's a blessing to have some amazing waves coming. Well, the blessing turned into a scare for one surfer who became stranded. We got waved down by a surfer saying they saw someone they thought was struggling out there, so we went ahead and checked it out, confirmed that he was out there, and uh, coordinated a rescue. Chief Art Hurtado and another lifeguard jumped in. They spent over half an hour reeling in the victim against the waves. They get caught in, in, in the, you know, in the waves. The waves are pretty high. It's a pretty good high surf right now. And he was having a problem trying to get back in. The National Weather Service issued two advisories, coastal flood and high surf. Chief Horacio Zamora says this afternoon's rescue is another reason to take them into consideration. Most of these surfers are good swimmers. I, I understand that, but um, it is really rough and he's out there by himself. They can very easily get tired. They, they can very easily drown out there. Um, and all I can say is you be careful, choose wisely what you're going to do. Today's is the only rescue so far since warnings were put in effect. Now remember, officials advise not to be in this water, no matter if you're a surfer or just a swimmer. Don't get in here. Now the surfer victim from earlier this afternoon was checked by medics and he is going to be fine. Now those advisories, high surf and coastal flooding won't expire until 7 tomorrow morning. Live in the island, Sierra Pizarro, Channel 5 News at 6.